after the terrorist attacks. Joining us now is the executive director of Stop the Islamization of America, Pamela Geller. Pamela, welcome. It's good to have you here. Now, you are not in favor of the mosque and the cultural center being built this close to ground. where the 9-11 attacks happened. Why? Well, Ground Zero is hallowed ground, and I think that it's an outrage, insu an insult, and it's humiliating to the families and to all Americans. I think any decent American and Muslim should be outraged that we would be building a mosque uh, which basically embodies the very ideology that inspired those attacks on 9-11. We asked the American Society for Muslim Advance, uh, Advancement to join us, and they declined. Uh, but they did send a statement, and I, I want to read it because I'd like to get your reaction to it. Because here's their uh, position on it. They say, for over a decade, the Cordoba in Initiative and American Society for Muslim Advancement have worked tirelessly to build bridges with other faiths while condemning violence, extremism, and prejudice of any sort. Our mission is to be a beacon of hope, peace, understanding and harmony to those who join us in condemning hatred and violence of any kind. Too often the question arises of why moderate, peace-loving Muslims do not speak out. We cannot think of a more wonderful expression of our religion than the Cordoba House, where Amer American Muslims stand together with our fellow citizens to condemn extremism and terror. It is a project to honor those who were harmed on September the 11th. It is a project to proclaim our patriotism to this country and to stand side by side by all men and women of peace. So they're saying, look, this is a way that we can say we uh, stand with the people of America. We are against what happened here. Why does that still give you real concern? Because obviously there's some real uh, heartache, not just with you, but with a lot of people across the country about the building. Their statement says, don't worry about this. This is uh, a, a gesture of friendship and a gesture of peace. I think a real memorial at uh, the hallowed ground of 9-11 would be perhaps a museum dedicated to the victims of 9-11 and perhaps uh, a, a center that would work to expunge uh, the violent texts that inspire these acts of jihad. It is very symbolic, Mike. If we look at uh, the World Trade Center, that was the epicenter, the financial epicenter, iconic of the, the world financial power the, um, in, in New York. If we look at the Pentagon, that was the icon of military superpower in the world. If you we, wouldn't you have a problem, though, Pamela, if this were a church or a, a synagogue? But it, because it's specifically a mosque and tied to the religion that was adhered to by the terrorist. Well, and, and let me be fair: a perversion of the religion, uh, maybe Islam. Well, uh, listen, these texts are in the Quran, and they are inspiring acts of jihad just two weeks ago in Times Square, another, another icon of the entertainment uh, complex of the world. It's a very symbolic move to build a mosque uh, at, at, the, at, 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 at Ground Zero. How can you separate the mosque and what it's teaching from Islam? But you don't want the government to intervene and say they can't build it. You're asking for what? Okay. First of all, the government should not intervene and tell us where we can build our houses of worship. That would be the worst thing that could happen. But I think that the Muslim community should be responsive to non-Muslims, that we are insulted and that we, this is a humiliation, and that at, in response to a public outcry that to build a 13-story mosque at ground zero opening up on September the 11th, I mean to anybody with any sense at all, this is a real slap in the face. And knowing what we know about Islamic history, where you have them taking over mosques, symbolism is enormously important in, in Islamic history. And this, to me, is appeasement of Muslim dominance and Islamic supremacism. And can't... Look, we couldn't show the uh, Muhammad in a bear suit, a little huggy bear suit on Comedy Central. They actually bleeped out the word Muhammad because of Muslim sensitivity. The Danish cartoons, no media would actually broadcast the Danish cartoons. Why? We want to be sensitive to Muslim sensibilities. Well, what about our sensibilities? And why isn't this a two-way street? And why can't we build churches in Saudi Arabia? Pamela, it's a hot issue, and it's going to remain that way. I appreciate your being on. I'm also grateful for the uh, Center for giving us their take on it. Can I just... And, uh, can I just uh, very, very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, June 6th, there's a protest at Ground Zero. Please come and, and, and voice your, your outrage at this... At, we consider it to, to, to be uh, this, this terrible idea in, in, in appeasement of Islam. Pamela, thank you very thank much. Thank you very Great much. Great to have you here.